And I apologize for my poor camera work at this point in time. I think I do fix it during this match. But you can see me being lazy in the back and not caring. <laughs> We'll just get to see part of uh, no one's shoulder for the previous match and this match. Yeah. <laughs> but here we go, jumping right into it. No one had a good look. He was looking at the bomb to see if he could extend it, but just didn't find the colors he wanted in quick enough time. I think he's definitely one of the most consistent people we've seen at just following or finding that two to three chain follow up. He generally knows what he wants to do with his blocks. For sure. Alright, so here's Keo. He is playing with his small stack like he's typically uh, been known for throughout this tournament. Uh, doing well clearing the garbage and, you know, just sending small pressure here and there. But no one's... He's just playing so quick that it's not really even bothering him. Just giving him more blocks on his screen to make the opportunities to rebut back. Don't give up. You won't. I told you so. Here we're definitely seeing uh, that defensive play style from Keo, just immediately finding clears to whatever no one is sending to back to him. Oh, this could be dangerous. Did you stop that? Oh, side. yes. That is dangerous. the worst situation to be in. You never want to find yourself with a big hole in the middle and two stacks up at the top because if you can't find that clear you're just going to be moving your cursor back and forth and you just don't have enough time sometimes yeah I told you so. that's why it's it's pretty crucial to like um i'm not really sure like what the exact term is but to basically like layer out your stack to where like you don't have any uh blocks higher than others to where it's all just a level playing field and you can keep working with that that way it's not like you're not caught in the middle with like a combo block just falling on you kind of like the ai manipulation strats with uh sr runs if you get what i mean no mm -hmm, definitely Give me one second, I'll be right back. Aries will be doing some commentary for you in the time being. Okay. You won't. Don't or give not Aries, what I said, Shadow. My bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was reading something and then that's the name that came out of my mouth as well. But yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so we've got Q's side of the screen. Uh, he is definitely getting a lot of garbage dumped on him. Uh, no one is raising his stack a little bit here to give himself more to work with, but he's got to be careful because he's topped off. But he's he he's like I said, lowering that playing field, and then Keo Keo loses there because he just could not find a clear, unfortunately, just from the increasing um, amount of stop time just being lost from the blocks just raising and raising. So we have. Game point uh, coming for no one here. Let's see if he can pull it off or if Kyo can make the upset. You won't. Don't give up. You won't. Don't give up. <coughs> All right. Well, so let's see. Looks like no one's just fumbling a bit to try to get another chain going here. Don't give up. I told you 
I can definitely tell he's trying, though. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go. Very nice. Five, six, seven. Very nice. Very well done. Definitely trying to keep uh, Kyo's stack uh, healthy and topped off there. Not quite enough there uh, as he's lowering the blocks. As uh, Kyo's keeping that defensive play style of his going and just making chains off of what he sent going into a 5 chain, a 6 chain. Very nice. So he's got to be careful though. Ah, uh, there we go, the reds. Alright, is he gonna get that? Yep, he got the red. He saw it. I'm glad he didn't drop that. That might have been bad. Can you see those purples up top? No. The green? No. Oh. He didn't see that second tier blue, though, which was very unfortunate. So no one's gonna take game one here in this best of three uh, losers semifinals, which I don't think Forky updated. I believe it's loser semi. I'm ready. Are you? But yeah. I'm there you go. And uh, Kyo swapping to Gary here. Kai, I, 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 in the game, I was kind of hoping that he would have like like his Gary to fully like you could swap like an alternate costume almost like you could swap back and forth between like Gary one and Gary two to where like you have the option to use either like Needle Queen, RK9, and Kingler or uh, Nuran, Growlithe, and Krabby. I think that would have been like a cool feature to have, but. Um, no one definitely making a good <coughs> opening chain here. Sorry, still fighting a cold a little bit here over here. Um, let's see. Keep on trying. Don't give up. Keep on trying. Both players definitely have a respectable, respectable um, cursor speeds going here uh, while they're playing, as I'm noticing. Uh, one of them just happens to be offensive, uh, that being no one, and Keo being the more defensive player and working off of uh, the garbage that's being sent to him and making chains out of that, which is definitely good for the long game. Uh, it's good to mix and match between the two. If you're really trying to seriously do well in versus in this game. Get that four chain, that five chain. Nice. Keeping no one topped off here. He's got to be careful. Oh, he finds that red just in time. Yeah, Kyo's got to raise his stack a little bit there. He doesn't really have much to work with. Ooh, this is looking kind of dangerous for no one there. A little bit. Get that green. There we go. It looked like Kyo was working into another impressive chain there, but it looked like he dropped it uh, from what I was seeing. Uh, it's definitely getting dangerous here with this speed, and uh, it finally caught up to them as uh, Kyo loses game one at a uh, 244. As uh, that that lack of stop time just being almost non-existent at this point. 
It gets really dangerous the longer and longer you go here in these versus matches. And it can just catch you off guard. Like you can't you can't really afford to slip up, especially when it goes later and later. No one should uh, probably raise his stack here. There we go. He looked like he didn't really have much to work with and he was kind of just fumbling around a bit. Kind of dropping that chain a little late. Ooh, got caught off guard there. Not lower, not flattening his stack a bit to work with there. Not getting that yellow clear in time with that four combo. Is that Kyo is going to take a point off of him here? So we're tied up here, game two, uh, <coughs> in this best of three. I think uh, Kyo's probably going to raise his stack soon, give himself a little more to work with. Because he's kind of struggling to find a setup here with only five, five uh, rows of panels here. He's going to have to give himself a little bit more to work with here. Unless he's really like true and committed to this defensive playstyle, waiting for no one to send more blocks to him. Which it seems like he might be. I don't really see him raising his blocks that much. Alrighty, sorry about that after much delay. I just had to figure out some stuff that's happening later, but I should be good to go for the rest of this. Yeah, no problem, man. Okay. So I managed to catch some of the action, because I was kind of here, kind of not. Uh, no one has seemed to have been dominating for the most part, but Keo has managed to get himself around this time. And no one's got to be uh, ah, careful there, because he almost did die again. Oh, and Ooh, as soon as you say something. Commentator's Curse catching up here. Uh, if Keo can take one more game here, he can tie this up, make it go into a game for you. <laughs> you can definitely tell uh, because of uh, Keo's defensive playstyle here. He's used to these prolonged games and just working with working with these matches going longer and longer and trying to just fatigue the opponent out so they don't like they feel like so exhausted from all the chains that they're sending. Especially when fighting a more aggressive player like no one. They're just trying to get that fatigue game going. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep on trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep on trying. Don't give up. 
Well, Kyo's got to be careful here. He's he's topped off in garbage. Finally, finally finds that that blue though, so that's good for him. But he's gonna have to be careful again. He's fumbling a little bit here, just making a bunch of accidental clears and oh, loses that game unfortunately, just from all those accidental clears and just not being able to clear the garbage that got sent to him. Mm, you can see Kyo's defensive game has been paying off specifically in this game and uh but sometimes when the pressure is just too much he just doesn't have the reaction to deal with it so Don't give up. Hope maybe he can keep it up and force this to a game three here but if no one keeps putting on that pressure he's definitely going to take it don't give up Kyo's still not really raising that stack there. I saw him raise it once, but he's definitely keeping up to that that grid of that that defensive play style there, and just working with the garbage that's sent to him. I think he fears just having just raising his blocks, and it comes with like a lot of new players. Like they fear raising their stack while having garbage on them in like so they don't accidentally wind up killing themselves and just raising it too high i think that's what i'm seeing a lot here uh with this sort of defensive play style all right just getting a little bit scary for uh Kyo here, Don't you see this pressure is finally catching up with him, and Ooh. yep, he's not going to be able to get that stack down, so. Good stuff to nope. no one, he is going to take the match there. He's going to move on to Losers Finals to, uh, I believe, have a rematch with Visa Cat. Yep, this is a run back from Winter Simi, so he's, he's come through the gauntlet, and he's looking for some revenge here. All right.